Hi there guys and welcome to another blowdown adventure. So again a little bit of a news reporting uh, episode. Um, I will put in some clips from we went this is today it is Monday it's a public holiday and um, this video is going to be all about the level 9 severe flood severe rain severe wind that we are supposed to have in the George area. Damn. So firstly, um, yeah, some I'm, I might put in some clips. I'll pull this out when I edit the video. Um, I might put in some clips. Oh, there is that wind. I might put in some clips. Um, I went fishing on Friday evening. It was a night session that we did. Um, I thought that there was going to be a lot of fish because it was the perfect weather and it was just before the, before the storm was supposed to hit. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show the clip uh, a video of what actually how the storm formed and what happened why we are having the severe um, weather that we're having now this is an early weather alert for south africa we are seeing the first strong spring cut of low weather system making its way to the country this weekend just to explain a cut of low is a low pressure system very high up in the atmosphere so if we look at South Africa from an angle more than 5,000 meters up in the air, we've got that low pressure system that basically cuts itself off from the normal westerly flow and it extends skewards to another low at the surface. So on Saturday, that low pressure system nears South Africa. We were expecting thunderstorms and showers east of the low, extending from the Northern Cape over the Western as well as the Eastern Cape. Severe storms likely in large parts of the crew. The low will slowly make its way to the Eastern Cape, exiting near Port Elizabeth with an onshore flow still pushing in more rain and another band extending over northeastern South Africa. Cuts of lows are usually accompanied by strong winds already picking up on Saturday here along the west coast and then gusting winds expected over the entire of the Cape provinces on Sunday with a near gale force easterly to southeasterly wind picking up along the coast is extremely dangerous for those areas especially for the coastal towns gusting more than 80 kilometers per hour in some areas as well as in the crew and then a strong west to northwesterly wind picking up over large parts of the Cape provinces on Monday with this onshore flow that will bring the biggest dangers associated with cut of lows and that's heavy rainfall currently our accumulated rainfall model is showing most of the rain will start falling in bands here over the northern cape stretching into the eastern cape and the western cape in the areas of pink we are expecting more than 50 millimeters of rainfall which could lead to localized flooding in the western eastern cape as well as spreading along the coast of the eastern cape but if we take our accumulated rainfall all the way to next week tuesday there's the possibility of more than 100 millimeters of falling here over parts of the garden route as well as the overberg of the western cape which can be extremely dangerous and lead to widespread flooding in those areas Remember, this is an advanced weather alert so that you can be prepared. Cuts of low weather systems are extremely volatile and the forecast can change from one day to the next. So it's best to keep on watching Vox Weather for regular updates because the rainfall amounts can still decrease or increase as that low pressure system moves across South Africa from Saturday up until next week, Tuesday. A cut of low has an extremely cold core, so you can expect a steep drop in temperature across the country the next few days. And models picking up the possibility of snow next week, Monday and Tuesday, over the southern Jarkensburg, as well as listed to and the extreme southern areas of the Free State. And cuts of lows are South Africa's biggest rainfall bearing systems, and it's the same type of system that's responsible for the 1981 Lanesburg floods and the 2022 KZN floods. Okay, so now that I've explained what this whole low, extreme low um, we're having is, is happening, what's happening, um, I decided to come and check out what, uh, what happened over the last two days. It's supposed to still be raining today and tomorrow. So just an update. Last week, if you haven't checked out those videos, go check out all the videos of the extreme high waves, high tide, all the winds that we're experiencing, houses that was washed away, cars washed away, um, extremely big waves. So go check out that video first. And then um, uh, two weeks later, <laughs> now we've got the opposite. So first it was the ocean that was eating the waves, uh, the waves that was eating, and now we've got floods um, coming again from the inland, from the mountains, all the rain. So I am here at the George Dam at the moment, and as you can see, the dam levels um, it's still fairly um, low. It, it hasn't come up that high. I was expecting a lot more because we've had between some places 70 millimeters of rain over the last two days and others had up to 100 millimeters but um, it's all been rain like this no no real like um, cloud 
like uh, what do you call it like thunderstorms or anything that there's a lot of rain in one hour it's all been a drizzle um, and there you can see the dam levels I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so that you can see closer you can see the dam levels um, the dam wall is still fine it's not overflowing so yeah not not extreme weather that we are experiencing at the moment and this is supposed to be the worst hour of the whole storm um, that we're supposed to experience so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna head over to Kaimans I'm gonna see what's Kaimans this Kaimans coming down already um, because we need Kaimans to come down if we want to launch there if we want to fish we want good fishing then wilderness was hit really badly by all those big waves so they've been working this whole week two last two weeks they've been working on wilderness to, to try and open up the estuary again and work away all the sand so I'm gonna head over there and see how that whole um, process is going and then maybe if we're lucky that mouth is going to open up again because that's also a very good fishing spot for, for um, our guys to fish at wilderness so yeah you, on this side you can also see it's not a lot happening so this is basically a little bit of an update for everybody that's been wondering what's happening with the dam levels and what's happening with all the storms i know that cape town has been hit really really bad in the surrounding areas um calidon all those places has been been hit it's really really bad um, on the way here on the news report i heard all the roads that was closed that were flooding there's been bridges that's been uh, ripped up and, and swept away so yeah i'm gonna go show a couple of those videos again that i got from whatsapp um everybody that's sent videos my number is in the description so if you want to send more videos please send me videos um I'll, I'll make another video a little bit later of all the floods but yeah please send me videos i'm gonna post my number in the in the description and then you'll send me some videos let's let's get everybody on board if you haven't subscribed to my channel it's actually a fishing channel but i'm really enjoying all the reporting <laughs> going out some of my friends say have you changed your channel to a storm chasing channel <laughs> it's like that's who i am i love the adventure i love seeing what's happening i love what nature is doing um, cleaning out nature is cleaning out first it was the ocean and now it's the mountains time it's the sky's time to clear, clear out so the estuaries and the, the ocean is really really cleaning out and this is all good news for a fisherman it is going to take a, a couple of weeks to settle though after all the brown water is going to come into the estuaries again but we'll see what happens um yeah uh, let's go to the next spot That's a police car, y'all. Yeah. 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 What even is that? Yeah, I don't think anyone's coming up here on a gravel bike. Corner of Wallace and Townsend, guys, don't come here. Patrick is going to be washed out. I don't know, water's pushing out by the drain covers. The drain covers has popped, completely popped up.
Ahanai boys. Ahanai. Check up, check up, check up. Ahatosbrug. Ahatosbrug. Weg is hij. De andere we. We don't have a bridge anymore. Er zijn wat rit te doen. Hij fok voor hem zo op. Houses is flooded. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. It's cinnamon square. Yeah. Flooded inside. Gordon's Bay Road flooded. Everywhere in the houses. Everywhere, yeah. Evil with the window. Mother, mother, she looks like a dog office. Hier is die rede, hier die hele rivier het voor nog so extra 10 meter gevat en die hel so wel hier gemaakt. Ek wil hier hier af. So now I'm here at Wilderness Beach here at NSRI. Um, wind's a lot stronger here than it is in George. But there you can see the heavy machinery that I was talking about. And there's um, some more heavy machinery that I was talking about. So they are, I don't know what exactly what their plan is here. But as I drove over the bridge, um, yeah, the estuary is still full. Not a lot of rain. It's actually not even raining yet. It's supposed to be at the worst time of the of the storm that's coming through here now. So George and, and the Garden Route hasn't been really affected. Um, Mossel Bay as well, I haven't heard any news from Mossel Bay that's been affected. Now it's not nothing. So it, it, the, the, the extreme low has not really come through here. 
um, and like I said it's supposed to be tonight and a little bit tomorrow but it's supposed to be at its worst now so I know um, Cape Town has been hit really really bad uh, Montiki, um, Botrefir, that area has been, been, been hit bad but like I say um, it's not really it's nothing actually happening happening here at the, in the garden route but I'm going to show you now the the work they've done there at the bridge and then somebody maybe in the comment section can let me in, uh, fill me in what, what exactly are their plans here in wilderness at the Toast River. So here you can see I'm here right at the Toast River and you can see still some of the damage of the waves that here. Um, but as you can see a lot of work has been done. Here's a lot of sand that's been piled up over the on this side and then they've created a, a wall here. So I don't know exactly what the plans are but obviously the water is not going to come through here from that side i'm going to show you that side how far the water is actually away but um yeah i don't think a lot's going to happen here um regarding water coming through from the estuary side to to open up this mouth so for all the fishermen that's been hoping they'd like to fish toast river i don't think anything's going to happen this is quite a big wall they've built up here um yeah i don't really know what the plans are on this side i'm quickly gonna run over to the other side and show you how far that beach is actually how far the water is actually away from so i'm running over the into here and on this side as well a lot of sand has been built up here um yeah Anybody can please explain to me what are they trying to do? Um, like I said, there you can see there's a little path that they've created for the water. They've worked open a little path for the water. Um, I'll run onto that piece of grass just now and you can maybe see a little bit better. So they've opened up this area over here. Trying to see if I can see any mullet down there. I uh, don't see any fish or mullets down there. So the, this estuary is still, this is all sand that was washed in by the big waves two weeks ago. I'll show you a quick clip of the water that was coming in here. There was actually waves coming in here from way over there. The waves was coming in into the estuary here. don't know what the plans are and it's approaching our fishing season now so we really need this estuary to be open but like i said i don't know i can't see that this little little bit of rain that we've had even if it's 100 mils that we've had can open this estuary so there you can see they've created that little gully for the water to go through to the ocean and then they've got that massive wall on the other side of the of that bridge so i've got the massive wall that they built up um so my theory is that they're waiting for the levels to go up 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 and then they'll open up the the last little bit so that's the only explanation i could think is that they're waiting for the estuary levels to go to rise from the rain or the, um, and then open it up once the levels are high enough they'll, they'll open it up but there's definitely a big wall so there's definitely kind of some kind of plan that they've in place to open up this mouth or to protect it i don't know exactly what if somebody knows please 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 let us know okay next um i'm gonna go quickly head over to Kaiman's. Uh, i'm gonna stop there at the top and then i'll also head down but Kaiman's was looking um calm the bridge the water is not over the bridge yet so the water is still flowing under the bridge which is a good sign that actually means the mouth is open so, but I'll quickly stop there and check what's going on there. Uh, okay, so now I'm here at Dolphin's View. Uh, not, not much happening. You can see that the, the water has come down. A little bit of rainwater actually has come down. But like I said, um, yeah, it's not, not a level 9 warning for the garden route. Definitely not. Um, yeah, it's big waves. But nothing compared to two weeks ago. And like definitely not launching soon you can see that whole bank of sand that's been dumped up there that area where we need to come through we come through all the way there by that little and then we come through here 
and then it makes a channel on that side and we go out there where you can see the brown water is going that's normally our channel that we go out when we go out here and you can see why um it's a little bit calmer on right around uh, uh on that edge there we go out through there you can see the waves aren't really breaking there where on this side there's banks and there's always waves breaking here so a little channel that we go out all the way there against the rocks but um yeah not much happening here in the garden route so luckily or unluckily um we missed the rain because i really would have loved if the rain opened up the estuary mouth uh, all the estuary mouth is closed now due to that big 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 waves that we had but uh, unfortunately um for cape town and the surrounding areas there was massive floods there and um, condolences to the people that houses and cars and everything lost again there so mother nature is definitely on the roll two weeks in two weeks now uh, that we've had first the ocean like i said and then now the clouds are clearing out so but unfortunately um, luckily we didn't have any floods unfortunately we didn't have enough rain for the estuaries to open up again so hope you guys enjoyed the little update on the weather so subscribe like leave a comment and i'll see you on the next adventure